ceremony of this training, organized by the Turkish Gendarmerie for Gambia Police Force, Gambia Armed Force, and SIS personnel. For the first time. I stand to be corrected, but for the first time in the history of the Gambia Police Force, having to have the Turkish Special Forces of the Zandarmeri to train the Gambia Police Force Special Unit as they are referred to the Police Intervention Unit. At this moment, we are witnessing the arrival of the dignitaries, the police high command. We have within us general from the Gambia Armed Forces. We have the police advisor, senior officers from the Gambia Navy. Inform you, this training is part of the ongoing preparations for the OIC summit. That will be held in this country is scheduled for May 4th, 5th, 2024. I have been informed that the training has not been limited only to the police or the police intervention unit. However, we have in this country a tradition that really needs to be emulated especially in the security forces. Because what is important, what is very well, is peace and security of the nation. And that brought not only the PIU, but members of other sister forces, including the military, the Ghana Armed Forces. The state intelligence services and other units. Looks like everywhere is quiet. I would want to ask everybody for the cooperation that has been demonstrated during that period. For all of us to give a round of applause to ourselves. Then we have uh, a vote of thanks by one of the trainees. On behalf of the trainees, one of them will give a vote of thanks. Then we have the final speech by the Deputy Inspector General of Police. So on behalf of the Inspector General of Police, Sidi Mukhtar Pure. That goes to show who we are as a country. That goes to show what we can achieve as a country. That goes to demonstrate the number and size may not matter. What matters, what really matters is the people, the people of that country. And as a people, we've gone through a lot together, but we've shown resilience and we've shown togetherness 
and we have sold to the entire world that we are a people of peace and we are a peace loving nation. And that gives birth to what has been regarded as the smiling coast of Africa. And that reference is upon every one of us. It is our responsibility as Gambians, but more importantly, as security officers, as agents of security in this nation, to maintain, to uphold. That's our responsibility. And that responsibility is tested now. It's tested for the fact that we will be receiving heads of stations, heads of nations. The DJ we now witness the arrival of the ambassador. Can all stand in honor of the arrival, please? Thank you very much. You can be seated. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> we also have the arrival of the OIC rep here. After the speaking of the dignitaries, we shall start the program proper. Thank you very much. Um, Inspector General of Police, General Kuru on behalf of the CDS, Focus General, the Assistant Inspector General of Police, the Police Advisor, the Commissioner for Police Intervention Unit as our host here this morning, the Commissioner for International Affairs, Senior Officers of Tokyo Zender Mary, Senior officers of the Gambia Police Force, senior officers of the Gambia Armed Forces, representative of the OIC, head of communication, other officers here present, and all invited guests, and to my colleagues, the media and federal officers, good morning to you all. I want to take this opportunity on behalf of the Gambia Police Force. I am your moderator, Peter Assistant Superintendent of Police, the DPR of the Gambia Police Force. We are here gathered today, this morning, to witness a very significant occasion in the history of the Gambia Police Force, but by extension in the history of the Gambia as a nation. It can be recalled that a few months ago, the head of the Special Forces of Turkey, Zander Miri, requested the Gambia Police Force. And one of the issues discussed is the reason for us here today that the provision of special training 
he began with this first. On that note, we are here to celebrate the conclusion or the successful completion of the training. So as the moderator, I wouldn't have much to do. But first, to go to the program guide and welcome our first speaker. The program will go as follows. We have the first speaker, our host, Commissioner of Police Intervention Unit. Then we have a statement by the Turkish ambassador. Then we have a statement by the deep train, the trainer. Then presentation of certificates and just I was informed. Then we have a statement, a vote of thanks by one of the trainees. And finally, we have the Deputy Inspector General of Police, Nobody Song, to make a statement. On that note, at this point, I would want to invite the Commissioner for Police Intervention Unit to give a welcoming remark. Commissioner, please. It gives me the immense pleasure welcoming all of you on the closing and award ceremony of dozen of security officers, mainly PIU officers, SIS, GAF, and the State Guard, which marked not just the end of the rigorous period of learning, but also the beginning of a new chapter in collective pursuit of safety and security. Today, the PIU has reached the highest of great success. It was established with a vision to serve the society with quality. Since 2017, the Gambia Police Force has undergone lots of reform programs and training, and PIU have benefited from all of this. The significance of the day is remarkable as 180 security personnel, which consists of four bodies, underwent an intensive 12 weeks, each three weeks of continuous training, ranging from protection on food techniques, protection on vehicle techniques, protection principle and responsibilities, preparation and planning for VIP protection duties, room and building clearing techniques, approaches and building techniques, and a lot more. To you, the trainees, as you stand on the threshold of this chapter, don't forget your solemn responsibilities and rules. Each of you are being entrusted with the safety and security of your fellow citizens with utmost seriousness and dedication. The skills and knowledge that you have acquired during this training will be invaluable asset in fulfilling these responsibilities, enabling you to respond effectively in every threat and challenges. As trainees, you are now bearing the responsibility of passing your knowledge and expertise to your colleagues. I wish to specially thank our Turkish trainer, Hakan, Akil, Fatih, and Ismail, and also the, our liaison officer, DS Isar. Finally, I wish to welcome you all and thanks for coming. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Commissioner Basange for the wonderful welcoming remark, having highlighted uh, some of the processes that has taken place or that has led us to this joyous day of celebration or celebrating the achievement that has been made. But like you mentioned, that wouldn't have been possible without the support from the leadership, recognizing that, and also the 
Prof. Zimmerman. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, at this point, I would want to um, invite the lead trainee, uh, instead of the, the ambassador lead training first, to give us a highlight of the training model. Good morning, His Excellency Ambassador of the Republic of Turkey. Uh, EIG Mamadou Sol, Tony Kuey, and Police Advisor uh, Tamsir uh, Jassi. Good morning, sir. Uh, and good morning, uh, Councillor of the Ministry of Interior of the Republic of Turkey, Gendarme Ali Polone. And uh, good morning, uh, Turkish Military Advisor Infantry Staff Colonel. And uh, distinguished guests, dear trainees, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great pleasure for me to address all the distinguished guests and the trainees who have successfully completed the trainings. We are not the first gendarmery personnel to come to Gambia. Relations between the Gambia and the Turkish Gendarmerie started in the 1990s. For many years, Turkish Gendarmerie training teams have served in, in the Gambia. With the end of the Gambian Gendarmerie's mission, the assignment of Gendarmerie training teams from Turkey also came to an end. We have seen the positive praises left by the Turkish Gendarmerie personnel who served in Gambia before us. And we are pleased with this. Our countries, cultures, and laws are different. The Gambia Police Force and the Gendarmerie General Command of the Republic of Turkey are two different law enforcement organizations. However, the vision of the police and Gendarmerie is the same everywhere in the world. This vision is to be an exemplary law enforcement organization that provides reputable, reliable, and quality service in the national and international arena. Since uh, we arrived in the Gambia on 19 December 2023, we have conducted two training terms of VIP protection training, one training term of VIP protection instructor training, and two training terms of special operation in urban areas training activities. We try to transfer our experiences to the personnel of the friendly Gambian country. I'm sure that the personnel who successfully complete the training with discipline work will be helpful to the Gambia Police Force, the Gambia Army Force, and the State Intelligence Service. It should not be forgotten that training is an ongoing process. Knowledge and skills need to be reinforced and developed through continuous training. For this reason, it is of great importance that the personnel who have completed their training follow the current developments in the world and constantly update themselves. Today, we are happy because as the Turkish Gendarmerie, we have developed our relations with the Gambia Police Force and Police Intervention Unit. We have made new friends in the Gambia and strengthened the bonds of friendship between us. We are also said that we will leave from the Gambia in a short time. I would like to thank all the authorities and staff, especially the Gambia Police Force, the Police Intervention Unit, and the Embassy of the Republic of Turkey, who have provided us with all kinds of facilities and made us feel at home uh, since the day we are right in the Gambia. We firmly believe that the relations between the Gambia Police Force and the Gendarmerie of the Republic of Turkey will continue to strengthen. I wish the personnel of the Gambia Police Force, the Gambia Armed Force, and State Intelligence Service in particular success in their future duties. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, lead train, trainer of the uh, Turkish training, uh, having highlighted the historic um, that between the Gambia and Turkey is not the first time, and I'm sure this won't be the last time. Uh, at this point, I would want to invite 
His Excellency the Ambassador to be the speaker. IGP uh, General Commissioner uh, Secretary General Excellencies Dear Colleagues uh, Ladies and Gentlemen It's a great pleasure and honor for me to be present today and address distinguished guests and participants at the PIU camp in Kanifin for the closing ceremony of this training organized by the Turkish Gendarmerie for Gambia Police Force, Gambia Armed Force, and SIS personnel. I would like to sincerely thank the Turkish Gendarmerie for planning this training. The hospitality extended to our personnel by the Gambian side was exemplary. We sincerely thank you. During my exchanges with our Gendarmerie team and Council for Internal Affairs, I was very happy to learn about the professionalism of participants. Apart from technical aspects, these activities also allow sites to interact and learn about the culture of the other, hence create solid working relationship and friendship. The Gambia will soon host the OIC summit. Needless to say, security is and will be one of the most important components for the success of this international event. The training undertaken by 189 staff will certainly help your authorities during this event, but also afterwards. Turkey, with its different institutions, is present on the field and working with your authorities in order to support this great country and people. During recent years, we had extensive cooperation with the Gambia. I am sure this momentum will continue in the months and years ahead of us. Taking this opportunity, I would like once more to thank participants of this training and trainers of the Turkish Gendarmerie. Last but not least, I would like to commend the efforts of the Gambian authorities and its people, undertaken at every level for making sure that this summit is a success. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Your Excellency Ambassador, for recognizing the need for security as far as the OIC is concerned. Uh, thank you very much for the wonderful speech. At this point, I would want to, um, we've got to a stage where we have to present certificates to the participants. So we will begin with the TOT. Yes, please, sir. What is going to present the certificate? May I have an escaper? What can escaper, please? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Would be Yakuba Baro, please.
institutions for ensuring proper transfer of knowledge. Um, and we recognize gender balance, as you could see, most of whom are women. Um, and that's very significant. We understand that practice would be great, but the training would need to continue to ensure that it's possible to train our personnel to become trainers. That's the essence. And thank you very much. 